Hey everybody, it's Pam. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to share with you today. Um, my daughter and I went to the thrift store a few days ago, maybe Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, I forget when it was. And I stopped and I wanted to show you what I found. I'm going to show you a little piece of what I found and then I'm going to show you how much I, of it I found. Okay, everybody who has ever done uh, counted cross stitch, you know, 8 o'clock when you see it, right? And this was a really good color of eight o'clock. It it was the that variegated tweedy looking, and I had been pulling and and fraying the edges. If you can see that, because I thought maybe I'd be able to incorporate this on the cards, or maybe do some stamping, even some inking to see if I could modify it to use in cards or journals or you know something like that. I thought, like I said, it was a really good color. It wasn't white. It wasn't that that fake yellowish cream. It was the the brownish tweedy looking stuff and so I went ahead and got some of it it's amazing how um, much cross stitch stuff our local thrift store actually has I, I mean I was really you know it's like really because I was in there before and they just had rolls and you know packages rolled up a couple feet of it at a time and uh, so I checked it out this time and I got lucky. I found this this color of it. So I'm going to show you how much I found. And I'm going to sh share with the, the price that I paid for it. I found this much of it. Now, this is how wide it is. But I don't even know how much is on here. Yard upon yard upon yard of it. And don't get too excited whenever I said that they were having a quarter a quarter for everything sale. It wasn't everything. It was just clothes and selected household items. So I brought my stuff up and the lady said, uh, she said, oh, that's not a quarter. I said, oh, okay. I said, well, how much is it, do you think? And she said, well, I don't know. She said, she says it's not a quarter. And then she says, well, I don't know. How much do you think it's worth? <laughs> it's like, lady. <laughs> I said, well, how about I just throw out a number, and then we'll dicker from there. She said, okay, how much do you think? And I said, well, if it's not a quarter, how about a dollar? And she looked at it, and she looked at it, and she goes, okay. Okay, uh, fine by me. A dollar it is. So I paid a dollar for that. And something else that I found, which I thought was really cool, I'm going to show it to you. This. It's a little, it's silver plate. I'm certain of that. It says on the bottom of it, uh, Crescent Silver Manufacturing. And I cleaned it up because it was tarnished like it is on the bottom right here. It was tarnished like that all over. So I brought it home and I cleaned it up. And I noticed something about it that I had not noticed in the store because it was so tarnished. Now it's just some sort of little, little goblet type thing, right? I never noticed that it was given to Debbie on June 15th, 1967. Can you, can you read that? Can you see it? It's like, Debbie didn't even want her little trophy. So it says Debbie, June 15th, 1967. I still think it's a cool little find for a quarter. So I'm happy with that. All right, what else is there? Uh, my daughter and I, we ran around two days in a row. And one day it was the thrift stores and local stuff. And then the next day it was... Uh, Clarksburg to Lowe's and Clarksburg Walmart and whenever I say Clarksburg it's like 23 miles away from me but um, we ended up at AC Moore of course and you know how I've been saying I've been making cards like crazy it's that one little thing that I can come back here and create a little something and it's a card so um, they still had their 25 four and a quarter by five and a half card bases still had these 25 of them for three dollars so I went in and got it and again don't know why that the 50 of them are five dollars so just like Hobby Lobby they're the same price well these are I guess that's a enough of a disparity but these are the Love Nicole brand all right so got those another day all right and then I was up, when I was up at AC Moore, I looked at this paper pad and I did not get it. And then my friend, I happened to call her and she was at AC Moore 
and she, her and her husband, she was buying um, Halloween decorations for her shop. She owns her own beauty shop. And, uh, and, and, I, and my hair today, I just went and had it cut and colored. And uh, I, I, you know how it is? You're a baby duck for two days. It just goes pew, pew, pew. So, okay. Um, so and she, she said, well, we're just getting ready to leave. Is there anything you, you want from up here? And I thought, I said, actually, there is. So I had her look for this paper pad that I picked up, was going to get, and did not get, and she got it for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to angle my camera down. I'm going to change the angle without turning it off. I'm not even going to pause it, and I'm going to show you the paper pad and something else that I've got. Okay, I'm going to move this forward, and I'm going to angle this down. Oops, there we go. And angle it down to my desk. Okay. okay. Up a little bit. Up a little bit. Up a little. There we go. All right. That was good. I think. I think. I think. I think. So, this is the paper pad. Uh, let me do a little backstory here first. I know. It's like, oh my goodness, Pam. Get to the point. I will. Just a second. Remember, I said this was the only one I could find for Halloween, and I had bought two of these Happy Hauntings, and, you know, really, 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 really good background papers. Okay. This was kind of the same thing. The only, and that was the Love Nicole brand, which is the AC Moore brand, I'm assuming. This was the only uh, fall, and it says Harvest. And this is what I passed up that asked her to bring to me. It was only $9.99 for the pad. It has some really cute papers in it. 48 sheets. I'm not sure how many. I think there's four of each design. And it's double-sided just like just like the Happy Hauntings. It's got a solid color on the back, so it's really good. Um, it's got acorns. Leaves. Very pretty. I mean, and the patterns, just it, some of the patterns are very small. You can see just like my finger. Uh, okay. Umbrellas. I'd never seen a fall with the umbrellas before. And some of them are very large pattern. There's some more fall leaves, which I like. Foxes. I don't know. Why does this fox remind me? I don't know. The, the face of it, if you look at it, it reminds me of that fem female cat, that cat that Peppy Le Pew was always tr chasing around in the cartoon. See the little face, how cute it is? Okay, yeah, I don't know. Show the mage. And then fall leaves in... It, to me, that looks like a mushroom. I'm not really sure. Let me see here. Let me see if I can uh, tell a photo in a little bit. There. See? That looks like a mushroom to me. And then squirrel. <laughs> Squirrels. <laughs> and big pumpkins. And I'm thinking I'll probably cut around these and cut those out because they're just absolutely perfect line to to fussy cut around, which I don't like to fussy cut, but I will. Galoshes. I thought that was so cool, but galoshes. And pumpkins, wheat, and acorns and leaves. And more leaves, which I just think, I mean, I just think these papers are really, really pretty. And then this with the gourds. Those are gourds. These aren't pumpkin. Well, they may have a couple of pumpkins on it, but then it has the gourds. And then that's it. But that is Harvest by Love Nicole from AC Moore. All right, let me back this up, I think, a little bit. There we go. Oh, what else was there? Oh, and I had a 55% off coupon, and I needed a leaf punch, and this was perfect. I've already taken it out of the package and used it. I will show you the size leaf it cuts. I didn't use a very good color, but those are the size... <clears throat> Those are the size leaf it cuts. Hang on, let me see if I can get a a better color for you to see it on. I'll leave this right there. I don't know if that's a better one or not. But that's that's the leaf. And let me see what size that is. That cuts about seven eighths of an inch wide. By tip to stem. <coughs> 15 16 so it's almost an inch square but not really okay and that's that punch whenever I these were regularly I have my paper here hang on regularly 
$8.99 with my 55% off one regularly priced item. It came out to $4.05 for that before tax. Alright? Okay, not that. Let's see what else. I'm, I'm, I'm moving along pretty well. Oh, this morning I was saying what else weird and offbeat can I have for some Halloween cards? And I decided to make um, Halloween honeybees. Remember I had the honeybee die? I don't know if you remember that or not. But I just thought it was cute to make the, the bees. I don't want to get too... Let me see. Probably better if I telephoto... Yeah. Okay. Maybe I can't. Okay. I don't know. What do you think? Halloween honeybees? <laughs> Alright. Okay, let me put those back. I did that this morning, and I also cut out four of these. I showed you when I had gotten this little die before that makes the, the miniature doily, so I made some of those, or made some of those, cut out some of those. And I'm just going to show you a little, a um, couple of, um, actually one, um, kind of a Thanksgiving card that I had made out of some of the paper that I had, very old paper pad. Uh, let me see, do I still have it here? Yes, I do. It's, I think that's the one I used. Yeah, it's an old DCWV stack. And it is from 2011, so it's eight years old, and I probably bought it brand new. So, there we go. I thought it was pretty with the orange gingham, and then just the fall. Um, I always th think this looked Nordic, but in fall, I don't know. These leaves are some of the ones that I had gotten from Walmart so many moons ago and this is one of my hand painted pumpkins and then I had the stamp that says gratitude and I popped that up on dimensional tape after backing it with some craft cardstock and this is uh, the same this same burlap ribbon that I had uh, gotten from Dollar Tree it's the same but I cut it in half and put it behind there so I think that's kind of a cute card and I was going to put it together at card club um, on Wednesday, but we didn't have time. But I've got another one here that's a kit that I'm going to put that together. And then here's another another card kit. Hey, I figured out something to do with these little zipper bags. Put your card kits in them. This one, I was trying to figure out stuff to do with the uh, the bit the felt leaves. Oh, I'm out totally out of frame with the felt leaves. This isn't put together. That uh, from uh, Dollar Tree. And this is what I figured out, and it's it is totally a steal from um, so, uh, something I saw on Pinterest, but I haven't put it together yet. But this is some of that embossed paper that I had gotten. It's called Fall Embossed, uh, and I think it's by I mentioned it several times. Craftsmart, which is um, Michael's, and it's supposed to go together like this. You put down the this. Yeah, put that, and then I stamp my Happy Thanksgiving on this, and this just gets uh, put like straight, straight on like that. It's not going to be perfect, and then these are going to be, you know, these leaves. I cut my leaf there, and then this one. And then these little swirls are a die that I had ordered from either Wish or AliExpress. And those are supposed to lay down like that. And then this layer, the leaves layered on there. And then this is not jute. This is hemp that I tied into a bow and put some glue, glue on it on the back of it right there. So it wouldn't, so, and then it's going to go like that. So you can see how that's going to kind of go together like that. And I'm going to be putting that together in just a few minutes. Um, but I think that's it. Let's put that there for you to look at. But that's it. Um, just doing a few things. I'm going to have to start putting together my kits very soon for my beginning junk journal. I'm going to have to start getting those together. I'll be making my list of things that I want to put in it and, and pre-make uh, little tidbits for them to use. And uh, I was going to tell you that Card Club went a lot better. Let me come back up. 
instead of talking to the card, I'll just talk like that. Oh, I think I forgot something. I think I did forget something. Um, the card club went much better. My, uh, the kits that I had taken, they, you know, they actually bought them from me. That's the thing. It was like uh, you had to buy, you know, if you're going to take something, you have to buy it from the person. I don't know why that's such a thing. You know, why not share? But anyway, but it went very smooth. It got along so much better. Uh, everybody's so nice. It was really, it was, it was just better. <laughs> it was much better. Uh, one more thing I want to show you is I did get a, a stamp set from Aliexpress. It's called uh, is it Merry Christmas. It's Squirrels and Frogs, but that's not what it is. It's not definitely not Squirrels and Frogs. It's actually a Christmas. Oh, it's actually a Christmas postcard stamp stamp set, and I like it because it has this. It has a Santa right there, and I don't have anything that has Santa on it. But uh, if you can see on the back, that's what it has. It's kind of hard to see. Um, but it's got like Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas to you and then the, the circles say Merry Christmas and with love and Happy New Year and the little this one right here the cancellation says says December 25th but I thought that was really cute I like that okay yeah the card club went much better <laughs> and next next time we meet in two weeks it's actually to go on our trip to Morgantown to Hobby Lobby and AC more in Morgantown and have lunch so anyway wish me luck. <laughs> That's it. Thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time. Bye. If I can get my camera to go off.